Hey ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel. As always, it is Nick here, back with your daily crypto news and analysis. And today we're going to be talking about Hedera and HBAR, so let's just dive in and let's start off with this tweet here that I sent out. Going back to uh, November 14th, I said maybe it's just me, but I believe at some point HBAR NFTs will flip Ethereum NFTs. Um, don't, this is not you know, me being biased or anything like that and saying, hey, you know, HBAR is going to flip Ethereum fully in market cap and be the number one, blah, 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 this, that. No, um, I just believe that in terms of the NFT space, uh, individuals are tired of paying astronomical gas fees. Um, it was a big issue for me when I initially jumped into NFTs where I was, you know, buying a ton of NFTs and I even minted some as well. And the associated cost with it on Ethereum was astronomical. Um, when I jumped into the HBAR space, and you guys, I, I documented me getting into the HBAR space as well, going back to like the uh, early summertime, it was a night and day difference. Um, I kept seeing all these NFT projects, and I'm just like, I, I have to be a part of this. I've, I, I've been a, basically, <laughs> I, I, I've been uploading HBAR content for so long, and I'm just like, I need to get into the NFT space because it's a, a space that's continuously expanding. And ever since, I haven't turned my back on Hedera NFTs. I've just been focused on them. I've been looking at every single project, been focused on everything happening, and it is monumental. Uh, the reason why I think that they will flip uh, Ethereum NFTs at some point in time is the amount of growth that we have seen so far, but also from the director of marketing at Hedera, um, Brady, would you see calling all Hedera NFT ecosystem builders? The call for speakers for NFT NYC 2023 is live. We'd love to hear from everyone to submit a proposal to help create a huge Hedera NFTs presence at the event next year. Now, NFT NYC was a big game changer for Hedera. Um, this is an event that has over 115.5k followers on Twitter, but also if you guys realize the value from this event going back to the summertime you can know why this event is so large um it was the event that really kind of pushed zeus market volume from i think it was like maybe 10 million all the way to almost 100 million right now it also brought a lot more projects and eyes over to the hedera sector for nfts and i do believe that this is going to continue to happen but NFT NYC is roughly right now 147 days away. Very exciting. Definitely going to be one to uh, watch for. I think that these events are incredible. You guys know me with these events. I think it's great for community growth. Now, this is not the only reason why I think that Hedera NFTs will flip you know, Ethereum NFTs at some point in time. I actually think that with all of the support from the Solana side of things as well, it's also going to benefit Hedera greatly, which we will get to that in a second. But also, as we talk about NFT creators, royalties. So we do see here from Hedera, um, for most NFT creators today, royalties are not enforced by protocol, given marketplaces the power to simply abstain. And uh, this is from Latoshi, joins Zenobia this week to discuss NFT royalties on Hedera codified and automatically enforced empowering creators. And yes, if you look at the key points here, which by the way, gossip about gossip, highly advise you if you are holding just one H bar, go and watch these events. They are incredible. They, or I shouldn't even say events. They're like, um, they're almost like podcasts, but they're very short. I think some of them are like anywhere between 13 to 30 minutes long, and they give you a great insight on where things are headed. Um, but we do see protecting creator NFT royalties at the native protocol layer. Key points, royalties, the mechanism by which NFT creators benefit from the resale of their work are, in most cases, not systemically enforced, leaving creators vulnerable to a lack of compensation. NFT creators today are largely subject to the control of NFT marketplaces, which can choose whether or not to honor royalty payments. Hedera enables NFT creators to set custom royalties, which are enforced at the protocol level, removing any potential for individual or marketplace interference. And yes, when we look at a lot of the things around the NFT space for Hedera, although Though it is still very, very early. Remember, there's not a lot of tolling for NFT, you know, creators as well as NFT projects. Um, once we do see a lot more utility coming to the Hedera space, I really think that this is what's going to propel them ahead of the competition. But also, yes, royalties are in place over here on Zeus Market. If you go to any of these collections, for an example, if I went to uh, Hangry Barboons, and um, 
once this loads we go and click just any one of these we could actually scroll down and you can see the royalty breakdown artist royalties are about seven percent transaction fees are about two percent um but also when we look at Zeus, it's interesting because we recently just hit 50,000 items sold and now we're already at 66.3k items sold at almost 96 million total volume. We are nearing the 100 million uh, volume area. It is very exciting. We have been seeing a large amount of growth in NFTs. No matter what the market conditions are, you could also check out domains over here and stuff like that. It is very, very exciting. I really do think that we will continue to see a lot more growth within this area. I honestly think that when we look at the marketplaces, the projects being built out on Hedera as well, all of this is going to continue to skyrocket in value. And we even have been focused on the um, overall communities engaging as well. Uh, first, off when we looked at um, HBAR NFTs, a big one was the XRP side of things. A lot of the XRP community members were also into the HBAR NFT space and that has also allowed for a convergence of the communities to come together and support each other, which is always great to see. But then over here as well from Joe High Times NFT, which by the way, this is an account that has over roughly 6,000 followers, nothing too, too crazy, but we have seen tweets like this in the past as well, where it is talking about the HBAR NFTs. For example, just to put it into perspective for you, one Solana is worth approximately 300 HBAR right now. We've had multiple HBAR NFT mints go from 2x to 10x from mint price instantly in the last few months, and it's not slowing down. The next NFT wave is in HBAR and HBAR NFT. Now, as we look at things happening around HBAR NFTs, if you actually go over to uh, Twitter and type in HBAR NFT, hashtag HBAR NFT, you could see a lot of things uh, within this community kind of continuing to grow around the NFT sector, specifically around a lot of these projects. There's a huge community engagement around this, and it is uh, very exciting. Now, like that individual did say, kind of comparing Solana to HBAR, uh, there's been a lot of uh, Solana individuals from the NFT sector actually coming over to the HBAR space simply because of the value behind them, but also because of the mint prices and the prices in general. Uh, this has allowed for a lot of these projects to increase rapidly in, you know, multipliers of like 2 to 5 to even 10x from mint price. Uh, we focused on this uh, initially back in the summer as well with Hash Mingos, even MetaZombies, some some of them are uh, doing very well. Um, but yes, you could actually hit a 10x on a lot of these sales just because of how you know massive this ecosystem actually is. Not to mention also the engagement from the gaming side of things. Gaming, um, a huge area as well for retail. Like this is really going to shock retail. I, I, I really do think that Hedera is going to be the major name around the retail sector, specifically around NFTs and even gaming. Remember what we did report on with the Realm GG. This is built on Hedera. Uh, this is an individual who is a professional Apex player for Element uh, 6 GG, which, you know, this is, um, I guess, a new esports team or so. Um, but nonetheless, we do see this Realm underscore GG is about to save EU scene playing with new people every game makes the game more sweaty in most part of the lobby like 17 out of 18 squad zone 4 not dying by cheaters every time just bring passion back on to play apex and of course we talked about um apex legends but this is a project that is getting very very exciting um around the gaming scene because a lot of individuals have been talking about how innovative this actually is how you know it's very positive about what they are doing it's going to change gaming and i do think that's going to continue to rapidly evolve into something much, much bigger. Remember, the gaming scene is a $200 billion industry. I know that's not that crazy when you actually look at some of these other in industries, but Hedera is checking the list on every single aspect. NFTs, um, gaming, DeFi, I mean, it, they are literally going after everything, especially even payments, the enterprise uh, grade workflows, things like that. Like this is something very interesting to me because as they continue to go after retail as well and market to retail, it allows for a lot of growth. This is what I focused on even with ADA in Solana because they are two major names that have been really kind of touted to the retail sector and handed to them on a silver platter. And I think that the same thing's happening here with HBAR as we are in a bear market. This is why I'm very excited for it into the next major 
sec uh, cycle. And we do see over here, Lithos, even though Ashfall is set in world ravaged by natural disasters and more, there is still tremendous beauty to be found. Another amazing piece by Marco in the world John is creating. And uh, here you guys have a little bit more of an insight on this game. Again, I really do think that this game is going to change a lot of things that we are looking at within... Um, you know, crypto. I think that when we look at the gaming sector itself, there's a lot more to it than what we really kind of put into perspective. We've been focused on the artwork around Ashfall because I really do think that this is going to be a game that's going to shake a lot of things up and get uh, the retail sector very excited. We've been focused on it. Very, very high quality. Um, very interesting to say the least. And I do think that this is going to change a lot of things. And also, more and more games are launching. A lot more projects are launching. Here we have from Athena DeFi, which by the way, they are a 46.4K followed account. I've got my eyes on Astronova and the slick meta RPG they are building on Hedera as a H bar holder myself. I'm excited seeing the ecosystem grow. Want to learn more about the project, win some prizes, attend the AMA tomorrow. And here you guys have it. So this is going to be happening on November 17th uh, very exciting or this is the end time of November 17th for the giveaway this uh, this has already occurred I believe at 7 UTC so I think that by the time that this actually goes up this is going to already have been live um, but a lot more things are launching out on Hedera and it's you know again when we look at all of these major gaming projects coming to Hedera it is only a matter of time before the retail sector really knows what Hedera is doing who they are and um, how large of an opportunity this is. I remember when Ashfall uh, initially came out or uh, they came out with the announcement, everyone was concerned about it. The NFT, you know, sustainability, things like that. Um, around NFTs, yeah, a lot of people are concerned about it because of the, them being focused on Ethereum. Ethereum is extremely inefficient. That's why when we look at the Hedera ecosystem and we look at like the sustainable fund, for an example, uh, there's a lot more to this than what a lot of people are looking at. Like they are becoming the sustainable giant around a lot of these major use cases. And we've been focused on that. And by the way, there's only, I, I, I mean, like to me, when, when we look at like the metaverse fund as well on here, like all of these major projects that are launching behind the scenes within Hedera that are getting grant funding, it's only a matter of time before a lot more of these projects do kind of launch out. And there's been so much happening from Hedera's side around this that I just don't see how the retail sector isn't going to get blown away by what Hedera is focused on. In my opinion, watching the NFT sector grow rapidly as it has in the last couple of months and watching the community continue to grow as well with all these events coming up with you know the market seeming like it could very well bottom out anywhere between the next two to four uh, weeks, then months ahead and even the year ahead is going to be very, very exciting. And um, I'm definitely here for it. I'm going to be sitting back, relaxing, and definitely watching a lot of things happen with um, HBAR and Hedera. I will continue to report on it, of course, as you guys know. And I will be reporting more on HBAR NFTs and NFT projects that are going to be launching out on Hedera over on the NFT channel. If you guys haven't checked that out by now, definitely highly advise you to do so. It's down in the description below as well as it's um, labeled on my channel if you go to the channel list so definitely go check out that nft uh channel but with all of that in mind i hope that you guys enjoyed this video if you guys did definitely leave a like subscribe to the notifications on because i'm a free content you guys are more than welcome to follow me on twitter and join the free discord down in the description below as always up to you all have a beautiful day beautiful night if you guys are on this before this has been nick peace out guys